There are more than 3,000 types of snakes on the planet. Of those, about 600 are venomous. An even smaller number of venomous snakes are so venomous that you may not even believe it. However, what might some of the most venomous snakes in the world be and what makes them so dangerous? Is it the amount of venom, the potency of the venom, or both? In this video, we're going to take a closer look at just a few of the snakes considered to be the most venomous in the world. Scientists measure how venomous a snake is by using a toxicology test called the median lethal dose, also known as LD50. The smaller the number, the more venomous the snake. By applying this scale, we can determine what the most venomous snakes in the world are. Whether it be the huge amount of venom injected or the absolutely dangerous potency levels. Let's start with the fer de lance. The name fer de lance means spearhead in French. A common name given to the variety of snakes from the genus Bothrops, a group of snakes also known as pit vipers. It is the most dangerous snake of Central and South America and causes more human deaths than any other American reptile. Reaching lengths of 8 feet and weighing an average of 10 to 13 pounds, this snake exists in many populated regions which is likely why it has so many bites to its name. On average, a fer de lance injects 105 milligrams of venom in one bite, although a venom yield of up to 310 milligrams has been recorded while milking them. The fatal dose for a human is 50 milligrams. Like other pit vipers, Bothrop species have two indentations or pits behind and above the nostrils, which can detect a rise or drop in temperature of just 0.001 degrees centigrade, allowing it to detect warm-blooded mammals. These pits, coupled with its tongue to taste the air, allow the fer de lance to strike with great accuracy even in total darkness. Bothrop species are able to climb and swim. Their natural habitat is forest, but it is often found on plantations and in run-down houses, as it can find a ready supply of rats and mice there. This unfortunately brings it into contact with humans. It will usually flee if disturbed, but can also defend itself vigorously, striking as soon as an enemy is within reach. Now let's take a look at the King Cobra. No one would argue that the King Cobra is among the most venomous snakes in the world, and for good reason. Although their venom is not the most potent among venomous snakes, the amount of neurotoxin they can deliver in a single bite, up to two-tenths of a fluid ounce, is enough to kill 20 people, or even an elephant. King cobra venom affects the respiratory centers in the brain, causing respiratory arrest and cardiac failure. Research suggests that king cobra bites can kill a person in as little as 30 minutes, and these snakes often bite and hold on to whatever may be threatening them. This snake can literally stand up and look a full-grown person in the eye. When confronted, they can lift up to a third of its body off the ground and still move forward to attack. King cobras can reach 18 feet in length, making them the longest of all venomous snakes. King cobras live mainly in the rainforests and plains of India, southern China, and Southeast Asia, and their coloring can vary greatly from region to region. This species feeds mainly on other snakes, venomous and non-venomous. They will also eat lizards, eggs, and small mammals. They are the only snakes in the world that build nests for their eggs, which they guard ferociously until the hatchlings emerge. Next, we are going to take a look at the boom slang. Not many people have heard of a boom slang. That is not surprising, because these venomous tree snakes are a super shy and non-aggressive species native to sub-Saharan Africa. These snakes exhibit sexual dimorphism, Therefore, it is easy to distinguish between genders. One of the most obvious morphological differences between genders is that females are brown in color, while males are usually bright colors such as green, yellow, or pinkish red. Boom slang snakes have strikingly large eyes, and juvenile boom slangs are known for their beautiful iridescent green eyes. The boom slang has an incredibly potent bite, and primarily is a hemotoxin 
which would only take a single bite to kill a person. But what's even more dangerous than the venom is the false sense of security it gives people after they have been bitten. Because the venom is not fast acting, victims may not realize that they are at serious risk. Hemotoxins are toxins that destroy red blood cells, disrupt blood clotting, and can also cause organ and tissue damage. So it's not surprising that it can lead to major brain and muscle hemorrhage. But the venom also causes other symptoms like nausea, headaches, and sleepiness. Perhaps what is most surprising is that the venom has the ability to make the victim bleed from every possible orifice. This is unfortunate because the victim will continue to bleed until death and death from internal bleeding is a slow and lingering process that can take anywhere from 3 to 5 days. It is imperative to act quickly, otherwise Africa's most venomous snake might have the last laugh. Lastly, we are going to take a look at the most venomous snake in the world and epic predator of the Australian outback, the inland taipan, otherwise known as the fierce snake or small-scaled snake. The fierce snake is found throughout a remote area in southwest Queensland and northwest South Australia. They thrive amongst the harsh conditions of their arid outback environment. They can vary in coloration, however, are typically a light brown or a straw-like color. Fierce snakes have, drop for drop, the most potent venom of any snake in the world. A single bite from one of these impressive reptiles has enough venom to kill 100 fully grown men, and there are enough potent neurotoxins in the snake's venom to kill a person in as little as 45 minutes. Not only this, but they also have the capability of biting repeatedly in quick succession. Symptoms include paralysis, muscle damage, internal bleeding, and kidney failure. This is far from their actual personality, though. In reality, they are shy and, because of their distribution, rarely come into contact with people. These are just a few of the most venomous snakes in the world, all of which prefer to be left alone and it is likely that you want to keep it that way too. What do you think of these lethal creatures? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.